There's a group called National Immigration Forum Action Fund, and they'd like to remind Republicans who their granddaddy is. The big old granddaddy of them all, Ronald Reagan. They're going to be debating tomorrow uh, at Ronald Reagan's library, where they will mention uh, the name Ronald Reagan approximately 200 times between them. And so on the issue of immigration, uh, they put together a little ad uh, where they reminded what Ronald Reagan said and what the current batch of Republicans say on the same issue. Watch. I've spoken of the shining city all my political life. God blessed and teeming with people of all kinds, living in harmony and peace. They're bringing crime, they're rapists. If I'm elected, they're going to be out of there day one. Do you think that birthright citizenship should be ended? Yeah, absolutely. I said we should end birthright citizenship. I will build a great, great wall. In my mind, it was a tall, proud city built on rocks stronger than oceans. And if there had to be city walls, the walls had doors. And the doors were open to anyone with the will and the heart to get here. That's how I saw it and see it still. That was uh, Ron Reagan's uh, farewell address back in 1989, a famous shining city on a hill speech. Uh, Whereas Trump and the rest of them come in, I see a shining city on the hill, I grab some mud and I throw it at it, I get that gotcha. I'm awesome, you're a dumb dumb. Now, interestingly, uh, this group uh, has a board of directors, the National Immigration Forum, they're the ones who fund the Action Fund. Uh, and one of its directors is Jeb Bush Jr. Drew Roms. That sounds like that might be Jeb Bush's son, and it is. <laughs> okay, so perhaps Jeb Bush, a little bit in the background here, saying you don't want to elect people like Trump. Me, on the other hand. Okay, now by the way, uh, is this fair? I mean, to talk about Ronald Reagan being open to immigrants. I mean, uh, wasn't Ronald Reagan a super right winger, the demigod of the Republicans? He never bent. He was always strong. Stood up to the evil empire, did all the right conservative things. Um, except for the fact that uh, Ronald Reagan is also the granddaddy of amnesty. He's the one that did the original amnesty program back in 1986. In fact, the Washington Post described it this way. The law awarded green cards to about 2.7 million immigrants, all told, including about 1 million farm workers. It was the largest legalization program in U.S. history. You know, all the things that Republicans talk about and attribute to Ronald Reagan, being strong, not negotiating with terrorists, being against amnesty, you know, uh, being great on the budget, all of it is a mirage. It's all one big party trick, okay? No, Ronald Reagan did the largest amnesty in U.S. history. He negotiated with the Iranians and sold them weapons. He negotiated with terrorists and sold them weapons. These are all rock hard facts. In fact, if you tell everybody, ah, I mean, that's true, but I mean, that's true, but I don't. Obama did it. Uh, Carter. It was Carter. He's the weak one. No, it was Reagan who did those things. And by the way, on the budget, he was a disaster. Largest deficits we've ever seen in the country was because of Ronald Reagan. They suck at the budget. They're the ones who did amnesty. They're the ones who negotiated with terrorists. Nonetheless, tomorrow they all go, Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan wouldn't win a Democratic primary today, let alone a Republican primary. If he joined in with these jackals, they'd rip him to shreds. This amnesty, Ronald Reagan. That's the state of the Republican Party today.